Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, it's a great day. And why is it a great day? Because we're here again with Bill Jordan, the old philosopher. <laughs> the, old, hey, Bill. the old philosopher. And we mean old. <laughs> oh, man. Bill, I, uh, I saw on your Facebook uh, page not too long ago a, a story, and I, I want you to repeat it for everybody on Celebrating Act Two. Um, it was a story, I don't think it was your experience, but you told the story of how uh, somebody would ha ask uh, the group in front of them to put their three biggest problems right. on an on a index yeah. card hand them in and then trade them. Right. So here, here's here's the gist of that. As you say, yeah, he speaks to this group of people and he gives them an index card and write down your three biggest problems. Don't put your name on them. Don't put your name on them. Just your three biggest problems. And maybe it's, you know, uh, can't afford my house payment. I'm behind in my rent. Uh, I just broke my ankle, what, whatever it might be, okay? Uh, and then they all went into the proverbial hat. And then they passed the hat around again, and you just pulled out a random card of somebody else's problems. And then he just said, okay, look at somebody else's problems. Raise your hand if you're willing to trade your problems for their problems. And nobody raises their hands. And it's just a lesson in perspective to me that somebody's always got it worse off than we do. Um, you know, and, and also we don't know what everybody else is fighting. There's that other one that's going around, you know, be kind always. Everybody's fighting something we know nothing about. And just to try to be kind, it's hard, it can. But I, I just thought that was, a, I'm, I'm glad that that impacted you as apparently uh, that it did. It really did me as well, um, regardless of how bad we have it. Uh, and also, though, it may show you how, I don't want to say trivial, because to each person, their problems, but when somebody says, you know, I, I split my fingernail, uh, and you realize what you're dealing with, it, it's, it's almost kind of a humbling thing. Part of that piece on, on Facebook also was, the point that it made was, you are uniquely situated to handle your problems. Yeah. And I've given that a little bit of thought about, you know, I really am. My, my wife, gee, in September, she broke her left ankle. She was coming out of that come the holidays. And then come February 8th, she broke her right foot. So I was a caregiver for a pretty good while. In fact, last year too, with gallbladder surgery and she had skin cancer surgery. But here I am, uniquely able to be that caregiver in that I am no longer fully employed. There is no way I could have taken care of her with a full-time job, uniquely yeah. able to help care for her. So in what that is, way, uh, fortunate. Uh, Bill, what is that old saying about uh, God never gives us problems that we can't handle? Is it, I'm sure I've mangled that somehow sure well i mean it's kind of like he he if he sees you to it he will see you through it. this you know we'll get into a little faith based, faith based thing here that but we really do endure you count up the number of days in your life and i've done the done this with my embrace the boom practice you can simply google how many days since and then type in your birth date and you it'll spit out how many days you have lived how many of those days you think you were not going to make it I mean, just life was that hard. It's not that you were on death's door necessarily, but the days where the, just the minutes just crept by. And here you are. You still made it. Um, you, you, if, if we'll hang in there uh, and you can, there's all kinds of strength, right? There's mental strength and there's intestinal fortitude strength and there's physical strength. If we hang in there sometimes, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, my wife, by the way, is up and in, in two shoes for the first time in months. <laughs> so, you know, thank God for the for those blessings. Um, but whatever you're enduring, hang in there as best you can. If you need a team around you, and sometimes we do need to call on the help of others. Uh, don't be embarrassed about asking for help. People are wanting to help. And if you re reverse that role and know that your 
brother or sister or neighbor or friend, cousin, whoever it might be, coworker, they need help. I'll bet you're willing to help them. And you would be quick to tell them, hey, don't hesitate to ask. You need to have that same attitude if you need help. Recognize that in you and ask for it. Good advice. So. I, I think so. So uh, uh, I, I know that through much of my life, uh, what you've just said is true. Uh, when things were really down, I always realized there was somebody. I remember 30 years ago, 40 years ago, fi maybe 50 years ago, uh, when things were like bad or you're worried about making a mortgage payment or something like that. Uh, I always used to put in my mind, well, at least I'm not in Cambodia serving under a government of the Pol Pot. Because those right. people, those people, well, their, their life had very little expectancy. So that's sort right. of like always my go to. It could be worse. It may, man, never challenge worse. Bill Cosby said that years ago. Never challenge worse. It can always be worse. So hope for the best. You know, hope for the best and, and push on through and you'll come out on the other side. And, and remember to embrace the boom. Embrace live the your boom. Life, right. Live your life, forget your age and embrace the boom. Always a pleasure to be with you guys. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.